it fits perfectly with what Jamie was talking about, the convergence of the two fields. Because life, so I call what is one bacteria, for example, yeah. life 1.0, because they're so dumb, they can't learn anything during their lifetime. It's all just in their DNA. I call all of us humans life 2.0, because we can learn, which we, in nerdy geek speak, might think of installing new software into our brains. Like I mm -hmm. installed an English speaking module because it was useful. And it's that ability, of course, which has made Homo sapiens, you know, the dominant life form on Earth. We can install our own software. With gene editing, we can start also designing our own hardware. So Life 3.0, technological life, could design all its hardware and replace all of it however it wants. It would ultimately like, break the shackles of evolution, sort of set life really free. And that leads to this really interesting philosophical question. What do we want to be in the future? What do we want it to mean to be human? And that's beyond, way beyond the technical question.